Um, very good question. So uh, we're very excited about those phase two results, as you've seen. First of all, it means that we have a positive vaccine that's able to generate a strong immune response. Uh, those phase two results are exciting because it's in a platform that's very well known, proven, safe and efficient, that's being used already for flu vaccine. Those results, what do they show? They show that we have a candidate vaccine that is based on a different platform than mRNA, that is showing strong response for priming of, of, of uh, for priming of individuals with two doses, three doses apart, three weeks apart. But also, it's a vaccine that is thermostable at your normal everyday fridge. So you can use this product in a normal setup. And most importantly, what we have seen, it's a candidate vaccine that could be an excellent universal booster, i.e. a booster shot as a third dose that will be able maybe to mount an immune response for every single regimen of vaccines that you have received before whether you have received an adenovirus or an mRNA platform or a protein platform, we believe there's a chance that this vaccine will be able to mount a strong immune response as a third shot. That's what we're going to do in the phase three trials that are going to come very soon, in a few weeks. First, with the efficacy study that we are going to do in more than 35,000 patients in the coming weeks, and later on, in a matter of weeks also, some booster studies. Very interesting. So you'll be testing its capacity to act as a booster already in these phase three trials. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that this vaccine was um, developed to combat or protect against the original strain of COVID-19. And now we're battling against a variety of new variants of concern. How well do you expect this vaccine to protect against some of these new variants? And could we see some reformulation down the line? So yes, so we need the phase three efficacy trial to access, actually assess what will be the protection provided. But indeed, what's going to be very interesting is that we're going to use not only the one strain, but also some variant strains into the formulations for both the phase three trials, but also with the booster studies that we are running in parallel. So we're going to start with variants, including the South African variant, in order to be able to assess the ability to protect against a variety of variants that indeed we are facing all over the world. Thomas, there's been a lot of soul searching in France after the country didn't come up with their own COVID vaccine. It was the only uh, country sitting on the UN Security Council not coming up with a vaccine early on. Uh, well, your, your vaccine might, might correct this, but they will come only about an, a year after the other vaccines came good. Um, what do you bring this down to? Is it, they talk about a lack of investment in research, uh, maybe a brain drain. And you can notice that the CEOs of Moderna and AstraZeneca are French. But obviously, they're not working in France. So what has been the problem there? Well, I'm not sure uh, 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 that's a really interesting question to look into it, uh, because I think it's quite interesting to have a lot of people doing Monday quarterbacking, uh, as we're seeing in the US. Uh, but what we are doing is that there has been a very interesting environment in France, and there is a very strong scientific environment in France. Um, there has been a lot of studies. Look at what Sanofi is doing, for example. Sanofi is the only company that is today doing manufacturing for three different COVID-19 vaccines. You know that we have partnership with Moderna, with GNJ, with BioNTech. So two mRNA platforms, one adenovirus platform. And we are doing our own programs with our own two COVID-19 vaccines. So yes, we follow science. Yes, sometimes science has some hiccups. And there are some days where I discover great things that are some more difficult days. But all in all, when I see the path that we have been on, by having three candidate vaccines, for which three vaccines for which, for which we are doing manufacturing uh, uh, work for to make sure that we deliver more than 400 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines in the coming month to the world. And on top of that, Sanofi is bringing its own two COVID-19 vaccine candidates, out of which one we have seen as very strong phase two results, but could be a thermostable booster for the whole world. I believe we're doing a lot of work and I believe France should be very proud of this work.